This video demonstrates how to use the Flower Petal Blossom tool. The first stage of the tool is the Flower Petal Creation stage. With the controllers available, I first create my ideal flower petal shape, then add noise to it, and finally bend the top part of the petal to give it a more natural look. The bend tab has an extra section that lets you adjust the bend area even further if needed. Next, I move on to the flower shape tab that allows you to choose the number of the petals, their location and rotation. Next, in the Flower Look tab, I manipulate separately the top and bottom petals look by adjusting how much and which areas of the petals bend. You could also change the size of the petals in this tab. Before moving to the animation stage, on the Flower Silver tab, I need to extrude the petals away from each other to ensure they are not intersecting. Then, I key my ideal flower look with the petals intersecting on frame 48 and I move on to the solver. Finally, I cache my flower and move to the animation stage. In the animation stage, I'll need to take the flower to another vellum solver cache it and then take it through a vellum post process and cache it again for the last time. Since each flower is unique, the results will always differ. If you're not immediately pleased with how the flower blooming turned out, you can try and adjust some settings and take it through the solvers again. Here, in this example, I try to adjust the minimum and maximum petal size number. Ultimately, for the sake of the demonstration, I decided to just use the flower scene starting from frame 45 to show that there are many ways you could salvage a non-perfect blossoming look without restarting the simulation. Another example of this is when I had to adjust the vellum post-process settings to remove rough areas on the petals of the flower scene. Finally, the tool offers a very simple ovule flower base with controls to manipulate both the base and the hair of the ovule. Someone interested in this could use keyframes to time when and how the hair appear to not interact with the petals. 